My name is Joe Brokhammer. I am an artist here in Omaha, Nebraska. We are actually in my studio space down in the old market in the old Bemis bag building. Um, I'm right above where the old Bemis Center used to be. An interesting fact that um, my studio space is just a few feet away from where my mother used to work when she was in college back in the day. Um, she took bags after they were sewn from one pile and add them to another pile just a few feet from where we are. So kind of all keeps it in the family. This is my studio space. It's very long and very big, but it's also a bit of a cocoon um, for me. In a sense, I've got it kind of set up um, for me to kind of think and exist within this space. Uh, I keep artwork on the wall for a short amount of time, and then I will take it down and change it out with different ones. For the most part, I don't really look at my work after it's finished. Uh, I'm really uh, drawn to my work when I'm doing it. And um, like in this particular picture, it's, I start off with uh, a white piece of paper. And from there, I find a bird that interests me. And then I start building the picture. Uh, I never quite know where it's going. I just kind of like, um, from start to finish, building the whole thing all on the paper and leave all the ideas and the mistakes and trying stuff and what are all right there. Uh, in fact, you can see the remnants of the drawing as it piles up at the bottom here. Um, the birds, in a lot of cases, uh, the piece is not about the birds. It's more about um, the birds are a stage to tell the story on. So the story is happening around the bird and the bird is just really there um, as the stage. So this is chalk on paper, chalk as in um, chalk pastel. I like to um, use all different kinds of chalk pastel from uh, inexpensive pastels all the way to the most expensive pastels I've been able to find out of Paris. And all of them end up going into the works. All of them have a unique job um, that they can do for me that the other ones can't. So when you see these, you've got literally everything, to use an old term, everything in the kitchen sink all together. I also tend to work in farm animals. There's something that I find very blank about the birds that I like. And for the farm animals, it's the exact opposite. There's something about the life in the eyes of the farm animal, the emotions in the farm animal, that I rarely do anything on top of the farm animals like I do with the birds. They're really just about um, the life that you can feel from the animal itself. Right now I'm focusing on buffalo. Um, I have a show, uh, well, uh, up until coronavirus, I had a show uh, coming up in Mexico that I was uh, preparing for, but coronavirus kind of changed that a little bit. Uh, hopefully that won't, uh, that'll come back. So I was focusing on buffalo. What I was trying to do with the buffalo was, um, instead of just doing one buffalo in eight or 10 different surroundings, I'm trying to do eight or 10 different buffaloes, trying to bring out the emotion of each particular buffalo so that buffalo stands out uh, on its own. So it's just like there's eight or 10 individual different people, even if they're all dressed the same, uh, each person has a different personality. That's what I'm trying to do with the buffaloes, is draw out a personality out of each one of them. So in the studio, as I said, it's kind of a cocoon for me where I've kind of set it up to where I feel safe in here to come up with whatever ideas I want to come up with. I have um, a little bit of everything set up. I've got plants that I'm growing um, down at the other end uh, that are herbs that I never seem to ever use, but I'm still growing them. I have um, a little kitchenette. I've got a uh, setup for teaching because of the coronavirus. I have to do a lot of Zoom classes. And so I've got a setup for that. I have my tables set up for um, chalk pastels. As I said, I like doing um, or using every kind of pastel known to man. So I've got everything from um, uh, industrial use of chalk down to um, 
surveyor or railroad chalk that you can get like a quarter a piece all the way up to um, a piece of Henry Rocher chalk that probably runs $20 for something like that. So I, um, well, all, I think they're all important to me. But I set the tables up really just, it looks haphazard, but it tends to work for me of all different kinds. My favorite are actually um, uh, Diane Townsend, who's a woman I believe on the East Coast who makes um, pastels that are very soft, but really durable and um, they will cover anything. So anytime you make a mistake and you have to cover up the mistake, uh, Diane Townsend are perfect for that because they will just cover up anything. <laughs> um, this is a bit of an office for me or a little bit of a, a safe uh, space for me to, if I'm bored looking at, at this Facebook on it now, looking at the computer or reading the news or making um, uh, meetings or printing out stuff um, or eating because there's food back there. I also like to collect little um, charms because I put a lot of charms in my work. Um, everything from uh, charm bracelet items to uh, Lucky Rabbit's foot kind of a charm to Mexican Milagros, uh, German Charvari. Uh, there's uh, Brazilian uh, charms. And I collect different weird kind of charms. For me, one of my charms, even though it's not a charm to anybody else, to me it is, they're Grunbacher pastels. It was the first pastels I ever used. And I'm obsessed with them for some reason. I never use them. I just keep buying them whenever I get a chance to. I love a full set. If I can find a full set, they're getting harder and harder to find because they don't make them anymore. Um, so I keep those and I never, I never use them. I also have bought these pastels. These are... Um, about 130 year old pastels, I believe. Um, I used them once in a, in a picture and I got so scared I haven't used them since. Um, but I like keeping them um, and just uh, as, a, as a collectible thing for myself. And then I have other little terms, as I said, that I keep in here. Um, here's some Charivari that I like to have that I use in my artwork as well. My artwork mostly tries to focus on something that I can work on to get better at as a person. If I'm mad at somebody, they'll end up kind of going into my artwork sometimes. Um, but I try to work through issues so I can try to get better as a person. And the charms are there to help me um, live a better life. I think that is about it with my studio. Thank you.